Hello Taurus, how are you? We're here to do a love reading that is going to focus on your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions with you at this time. So let's take a look and dig in. This is a reading for the collective Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate, please check out your Sun, Moon, your Moon, Rising, or Venus, and or the playlist at the end of this video. Also, energies can be vice versa. So let's see what the overall energy is for Taurus. Six of coins, equal give and take. The willingness to receive and give equally. Ooh, eight of swords, self-imposed restriction. Okay, Taurus, what's happening here? You're putting yourself, sort of holding yourself back where your person is. The four of coins holding back again being a little bit you know closed off with your um less than generous with what you're either receiving or giving so now we have the nine of swords so this is very very much a lot of worry a lot of concern not being able to sleep very well having insomnia Okay, so what is going on, Taurus? This is this is an uncomfortable energy. Okay, so we have the Page of Fire. This is really throwing caution to the winds. So we have that coming in as your energy. But it does look like right now you may not be talking to your person. There's a lot of holding back here, remorse, regret defensiveness okay so what else what do we need to know what is your person thinking about you Taurus what are they thinking about you what are your person's thoughts about you wheel of fortune oh they feel really lucky to have met you they feel that Sagittarius energy they just feel like you are like their muse their good luck charm you know you always seem to bring them good luck you're always sort of happy-go-lucky they feel as though you're just really brilliant. You're beautiful. The messenger of earth. Again, page of... No, so we, now we have the page of wands and we have the messenger of earth. So it does look like there's something of a practical nature that is in the way right now in the relationship. The ten of water. <coughs> Rose, quiet. Thank you. Sorry about that. Okay. The Ten of Water, they feel as though you're the happiest person they know. They feel as though you are the person with whom they can be the happiest. They love when they look at you. They see nothing but joy, nothing but goodness, stability. They think the Ten of Air, they feel as though they have let you down in some way. The Four of Fire, they really want to restore stability to this relationship so their thoughts are that they need to make things a lot better five of water they feel as though they owe you an apology also okay so let's see what the messages of love are here for you let's see why is the wheel of fortune here why is why are these why are these thoughts prominent Finances are a consideration in the relationship. We see the six of coins there. So this person is worried about their money because we have a money card here and a money card here. They may need assistance or they may be feeling very needy right now. Like they could be unemployed. We're seeing they're watching their coin. They're worried. They are throwing caution to the winds, but they're holding back somehow release okay so they're releasing their ideas about the way things have to be your person is getting mastery over their emotions beautiful learning a spiritual le lesson the ten of air is a ten of swords so in some way it looks like taurus that their your person feels as though they hurt you or made you unhappy they, you know, they didn't see it. They do owe you an apology. So I do think you're going to get an apology, but not what you're thinking. I feel as though they're going to try to give you the gift of something that's new. 
So the abundance card here is, you know, you've done all the work, abundance flows to you now. So your person looks as though they like to give you gifts as opposed to apologize. You know, that would be their way of of apologizing would be to give you something that was a luxury gift or something that you really needed, something you might not have been able to afford on your own. Why is a four of fire here? That's a four of wands. They want a second chance. So it does look as though in this energy up here, you really were becoming very closed off because there was no equal give and take. You were, you stopped really giving generously to them the way you did at the beginning of the relationship. And that really made them, they had to think about it, you know, and this person is somewhat immature. I don't, I think that they've had some difficulties in growing up that caused them not to really know what a healthy, happy relationship looks like. I don't think that they witnessed that. So let's see what else we have. Let's get one more message here about the second chance. This person's really working hard. They are trying to not make any errors. They're going a little slowly, but they really are trying, Taurus. Oh my goodness. This person is trying. They really are. So let's look now. So those are their thoughts. That's sort of the situation as it is right now. They're trying to win you back, although that's very much a heart space card. You are there happily ever after. They feel as though you're being very aloof, very non-committal. They don't know what to think. Ten of Cups in their heart space. They absolutely adore you. They adore you. This person loves you. Ten of Cups twice. That's happily ever after. That's marriage. Now we have the Queen of Cups. Ugh. This person is getting mastery over their emotions, though. They are learning that if they want love, they can't be a lightweight. This person has to make you a substantial offer, and they absolutely know that. I'm also getting that they're releasing some karma from the past. It looks as they're, though they're, they're letting go of old ways of thinking. They are so fearful that you're going to let go of them that they know that they have to let go of some old bad habits. So let's see what else is in their heart space for you. That 10 of cups is stunning. In their heart space, they're terrified of losing you. They're terrified of you leaving them. They're just terrified. The Queen of Cups is like, they're, they're like mommy energy. Like, it doesn't matter whether this is a feminine or a masculine energy. It just means that they love you like a little kid. Like, like they're so devoted to you. They feel as though they're a lightweight. They're immature. They haven't done a great job. But boy, oh boy, do they feel underwater with you. The thought of losing you absolutely makes them just they can't sleep at night they just can't they're just going to pull out all the stops to win you over by releasing any baggage that they needed to release okay so let's see so those are their thoughts or feelings the energy and let's see what they're going to do look at this leo energy this person is swooping in all passionate hotter than the hinges of hell we love it and now we see the aries queen oh they feel as though they need to really rock the night away with you my taurus friends they also need to have they need to be generous with you they need to watch what they do they need to they need to stop holding back so that is what their um intentions are with you is to really change up they're going to stop being so defensive they're trying to be more open they're trying to be more giving gorgeous okay and again they're so fearful oh my gosh it also looks as though they're trying to go find a way to win you back i feel like right now this could be a travel card or the idea of what can I do, what, where can I go, what can I do, what can I learn to, to win Taurus's heart back. But they are just terrified of losing you. 
They really are. It's, I hate to use the word terrified, but this person is finally waking up and understanding the quality of love you give and the stability that you give and that you're just not going to put up with any more difficulties stemming from any kind of little dishonesties or ways that they tried to be um, perhaps a little manipulative. You know, immaturity is a, is a basic is what I'm seeing. Immaturity is the biggest problem. So let's look at the romance angels and see what the advice of the romance angels is for you. Let's see, what do we have for our Taurus friends? Okay, what's the advice for you, Taurus? And then I'm gonna check out the actions. You know, we've seen some of their actions, but we're gonna just get more information. Pull more cards here. So we see worth waiting for. Oh, good. So Spirit is saying that this person really is worth waiting for. That finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. So that's what we saw. You know, we covered that aspect of this. So that's always good to have confirmation. Make the effort, Taurus. Make the effort. This is worth. This relationship is worth building the trust again. You know, really, really starting to trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So pull one more and we see, uh, give your relationship a chance. So Spirit is really saying that this person is worthy. This person is a good person. They're immature, but they are learning. They're putting in effort. So let's look and see now, any other information? Spirit, give us any other information about this person's feelings. Look at that strength card. They will never leave you. The strength card is so beautiful because it says that this person, and look at this, we have strength and we have, these are both Leo energies, that this person has a lot of pride. They have a lot of ego, but boy, oh boy, you are their beauty. They see you as a beautiful nine of cups, but they want you to be the, the queen or king of pentacles. They want an established relationship with you, full of stability, and so that's what they're bringing in. This person's very loyal, they're very passionate. The strength card is also, aside from being strong, it's about having the strength of a lot of love. It indicates, you know, it tells us very much that this person is super passionate about you. So let's see what else we have. What other information can we get for our Taurus friends here? What other information? Okay. They feel as though you're holding back. They feel definitely as if you're holding back, Taurus. They want you to loosen up. The Two of Cups, they are going, I feel like they're going to take you on like a honeymoon type trip because I get travel here. They want both of you to go away though. They, they want to go away. They're looking for some place to take you. I'm getting with the, they're throwing caution to the winds, but the Two of Cups is, you know, we have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups. This person really does want to spend a lifetime with you. You are their happy place. They want to get in your good graces again, create more trust. They're going to do everything they can. And you know what, the Taurus King Taurus, that's all about being successful. They have a plan, they're gonna make a plan, work their plan. And um, let's see what the blockages though have been in the past for this person. Why are they having to retrieve this relationship? What was it that was a blockage in this relationship earlier? What was the blockage here? Winter, their feelings were frozen. Wow. They came into this relationship with a very cold heart, a very cold heart. They had been hurt. They have big dreams, beautiful and ascension. So actually these cards are really great because the blockages are falling by the wayside. So, you know, the blockage was their heart. 
They do have regret about being cold with you at the beginning. So that was a blockage as they're being cold. But now they're ascending. Now they're their pride and ego that got in the way. So those were blockages in this relationship, Taurus. One last card, karmic partner. So evidently somewhere in the lives that the two of you share, there is a karmic person. I don't see the three of swords, so I'm not seeing any sort of cheating or anything, but it does look like there has been someone that has created that karmic partner has been the cause of them holding back. Let's see also what Moonology says for you and your person going forward. Let's see what's the energy going forward here. Beautiful Taurus, beautiful energy. The Romance Angels are saying that you really can go the distance, that your person is making the effort. So the advice, expect a powerful change, yay! Conclusions are within reach, the full moon eclipse. You know, we just had one in Gemini, which would be Taurus, your second house of everything that you value. Taurus, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini, there we go. I knew it, okay. Taurus, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care.